Right. A very good afternoon to all our viewers and uh, a warm welcome. We are here to celebrate the success of uh, Shivam Kumar. Uh, Shivam, am I audible? Uh, hi, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, you're audible. Wonderful. All right. Would you be able to turn on your camera? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. All right. So congrats, first up, and uh, that's uh, great news. Uh, good to uh, to watch uh, one more uh, transition happening, and uh, the uh, you know there's a start of a new journey at every time this uh, you know this does come to pass, and uh, we we look to uh, hear much more from you uh, going forward, right? So there's there's always uh, the opportunity to catch up with you once more, probably. At, at some point, but uh, for now, yes, we'll we'll uh, we'll start off with what's been your experience, and um, probably you could begin by introducing yourself. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, thanks for congratulating me. Uh, for sure, I just uh, I'm audible to you, sir. Yes, yes, please okay, go. Yeah, sure. So uh, I am uh, Shubham Kumar. Thank you for the giving me this opportunity, and. Uh, before that, uh, I'm uh, already in IT sector. I just worked as a Salesforce developer for two years. And uh, in that, uh, uh, I previously worked as data analyst also for six months. So I just curious about that. Why not uh, go into transition into a data scientist? Uh, so I heard about the data mites. I look into the other uh, institute also. But uh, someone suggested suggest me to go data mites and because they have placement cells also so they will provide you the placement and will help you on that part so i just went over there and then just get the query and uh, all the things after that uh, i just attend a webinar also for three days so i just uh, happy that with happy with the teachers so they are delivering it very quite uh, you know everything they give the brief idea on what they will teach us what will be the uh, curriculum on that, uh, you know, uh, data science course. So right. I'm just happy over that. So okay. After that, yeah, uh, I just learned more on the data science with machine learning parts. So I'm very happy with the teachers also. So they just uh, gave me the brief introduction on that. Everything was perfect. Wonderful, great to hear. So, so you 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 had kind of come from a background of analytics. Uh, could we uh, you see this? This is basically a, a few years where you had looked into uh, uh, using certain tools as well. Yeah, before that, I was working as a Salesforce developer. You know that uh, we build uh, e-commerce website like Flipkart, right. some kind of a US based product. So I have worked on two projects. That is uh, one. Uh, my muscle chef that is based on uh, diet product diet uh, uh, so the person who is uh, having it uh, you know conscious about that uh, health care so they just give the brief for how what is that uh, you know they have so we will provide that uh, you know the diet to them food everything that is Australian product so we worked as uh, so I have to do that uh, POC on that so there was a uh, like uh, the, they give that uh, project to us so they wanted we want to give that uh, you know uh, profits on that get analysis how we can increase the sales so right. yeah I, I done that poc on the project so as a data analyst uh, before that we done the poc and we did that give that and deliver it to that client okay yeah. all right so this was somewhere you were coming into data science you, you were a little new to uh, programming is it no, I just, uh, I have that because uh, as a Salesforce developer, I learned about a, a JavaScript and, okay. and Salesforce itself have the, you know, coding. Uh, so I just develop, I'm on the developing team. So I just develop the things for the, for okay. the tech and in private limited. Okay, great. All right. So uh, that's, I'd say we, we usually have uh, the, the minority of the folks who come actually come from a, a developer background yes you did mention that so great um so uh, what about looking into the uh, other parts you said machine learning was something that you gradually got familiar with and uh there, there was a, a little bit of statistics that we always find uh getting utilized there right so yeah 
what what was your experience with uh, uh, learning those uh, elements actually uh, if you learning if you have a, a curious of tradition in a data science so, so you have to learn about the statistics first because that played a quite a role in uh, you know the data science role because uh, you have to get the analysis on that and so that uh, statistics it will have an impact on machine learning part also so so you have to learn about that and each every concept should be clear before going into the machine learning so yeah it should play a vital role in that okay and this is something that i think we we, we do have uh, you know uh, in in terms of the focus at data mites the 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 fundamentals have always been the uh, you know the go to thing and uh, partially we we build on that uh, you know based on uh, the the current trends etc so um, your, your your program was it offline online no i just uh, go to the online offline course because uh, if you have to go to the person to person so it is very you know if you have any question you can ask them in up front so i just went up there and uh, if i have the question uh, if i am not able to understand then i ask after that classes to the teachers so i have the problem in dot in that session so you can just appear, explain to me so okay. i just went to the offline this this was in uh, bangalore was it yeah yeah this is bangalore could look at that is a location for you. okay all right so uh, it, it, in terms of uh, looking at the well, your role is also in bangalore is that where you landed your job yeah that is in bangalore uh, canaris automation near to the bansankri nice all right okay so uh, are you shift, you're shifting close by to that place or you you uh, yeah, yeah i'm living in btm right now so i just shifted all right great. my joining would be i think a wednesday so i have to uh, settle down before that uh, join the company yeah. okay great right so uh, exciting times ahead all right uh, yeah. we'll we'll come to the uh, interview part in a moment uh, do i we already have a question oh yes uh, so reshma wants to know how was your training at uh, data mites big do you do you remember your trainers anyone uh, mentioned yeah i i know that everyone uh, python uh, cs are there say is mem so he just uh, he just uh, go to that python part so she explained me actually i was new to the python so before that uh, you know it's everything is a library based so you have to learn you know, how the library works right you know so she just told me about that and the statistics and the machine learning just priyanshu sir is there so he take that both that uh, you know so they were good actually uh, just that they just explains uh, about that uh, statistics part and machine learning very quietly quite deep on that and the mathematics also they have explained us so that's a good uh, you know training part on that statistics and machine learning that's all good all right okay <clears throat> Hrithvik wants to know how did your internship and projects uh, at at the part of the phase three at Data Mind. So how how did this help you uh, in your uh, interview? When we you... are the four people. Uh, they are from North Side, so actually we have a bond on with all of them. So we just took it. Okay, we have the project, so we just uh, divided it. With that, that's not a like a. So we will do the part, but uh, if he is doing, if he is having some problem. So we have to rectify it. So we just took it one one project on that uh, in capstone project. After that, the live project is there. So we took it very seriously because uh, we have to, you know, as a data scientist or as a like we are new to it. So we have to take very serious what are that meaning and uh, how we will apply the algorithms because uh, it will uh, give us good future in the future also. How we will. learn and give the project in the future kind of reference so we took it very seriously and we got a a plus also in that and we took uh, some of that uh, you know uh, seniors help so it was good uh, okay and the, these these are the projects where somewhere um, you know all all that you have picked up during your training is is what you end up utilizing for the uh, projects right so yeah. uh, <clears throat> was this um uh, any, anything from here which was uh, i guess you 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 first go to your mock interview stage okay i think we we do have a question about the mock interview as well so uh, how useful was the mock interview 
So that was quite actually quite good. Uh, I didn't track it on the first row. I had to give third one. So what they just tell me, I asked the seniors also because I was quite a good. I give them given the interview very good, you know. So they said, uh, see, this is good if you are rejecting. They are rejecting you because sometimes, uh, you know, when the interviewers will ask you, they will not, uh, you know, ask some a, a basic question. They will ask you in the deep whatever you say. So that's good practice. If they are keep failing you, you have to keep working on it. So for the third time, third time, they just I just cleared the mock interview. It was quite good because whatever the previous mistakes I was. Uh, you know, getting it, so I just rectify it, and uh, it was good while going with the interviews also. That's quite helped me while giving that uh, client, sorry, that interviews. So it was very helpful. Very nice. So let, let's let's come to that. I, I, I you you had I think uh, what there were a few rounds for that client interview. Yeah, that was the three rounds. Uh, before in that, yeah, I was yes, that was a walk-in interview. So they just uh, first was a technical round. So they just asked me about that uh, first uh, my previous background. So what uh, what projects you have used? So I just explained them about that e-commerce and why a website what I was I was using and what I was developed developed. And after that they was asking about that life, like uh, how you can why you want to join this company and why you are curious about that AI. So if you have any live example you have to work on in future, so give us the example on that. So I just having that kind of, uh, you know, working on it. So I just think yeah, healthcare is a depart healthcare department is right, right now boosting up. So we can work on it and uh, we can apply some kind of models and we can like, you know, healthcare is a uh, very uh, upcoming, uh, department so you can work on it so i just explained them they asked me about synergy questions on it so how if you have a project how will you approach it so okay. that's i explained them we will do the poc on that if we have a tech reference from previous projects so we can cut out the post and uh, we will apply uh, when we will develop uh, a machine learning models apply the algorithms all the things and that's it Okay, very nice. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, somewhere we are looking at, um, you know, the, the the trends that you are experiencing with uh, data science. So was was that something that played on your mind? Were you looking at uh, were the questions related to that in terms of NLP or anything to do with the uh, uh, further? No, actually, they didn't ask me about NLP, and but they said you have to be keep on learning about that because we have the projects on this so after in the technical second round they asked me about that so you have any you know previous backgrounds or not because they will give us some kind of training as well so so right. they said please uh, go ahead while we will give you training so keep learning on it don't be sick like if you are uh, like you got the interview you cleared it so don't be relaxed okay yeah. Right. Okay. That's useful advice. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Um, how did you prepare your resume? One more coming your way. So uh, did you get and uh, yeah, all, all the help that you received from the uh, uh, the placement team? What was that interaction like? Yeah, they. I just uh, they they helped me uh, because I'm I already have that you know, experience how to build that because I have already worked in the IT sector. So they helped me about that, uh, you know, you can just mention about some kind of uh, projects, whatever you have done in that data mites, the Rubik's and the capstone project. So right. I just uh, mentioned it on my resume and uh, they are, they are actually, they gave me that uh, some kind of samples. So I just took it and uh, redesign it uh, on the basis of whatever they sent. Yeah. Okay. So I just made it on that. And and what was this, uh, Shubham? Once you cleared the the mock interview, was was this the first client interview? No, actually, that was third one. Uh, right. Okay. Right. So okay. Collectively, there, there was some experience that you took from the first couple of. Actually, uh, that first was 
first sentence was very nerve i was very nervous because that was the very first one after killing the mock interview uh, i think 3 4 days after that i got a call from i don't remember what is that so they asked me about uh, some kind of nlp questions the drop out and uh, yeah i forgot it because that is very long back okay so that was the third one i learned i keep on learning whatever the mistake i am doing so so i just prepared okay i have to crack it now this time was in the person i know before that also in person you can uh, you know show us show us whatever you have learned so i just cleared it somehow and the luck also in the favor of me so yeah oh oh one miss that's true you, the effort must come from somewhere yeah. and then of course the, the you know the luck does favor you wonderful yeah. um and that that's uh, and, and, you know there will be a lot of those uh, youngsters who are uh, watching you and somewhere uh, many of them are planning a transition you know they're thinking of uh, going into data science um any advice in terms of <clears throat> your your preparation method and uh, how you went about it yeah actually while going into that data scientist role so uh, i took it uh, like uh, from my brothers and everything so they just said there is a very grooming like you know uh, department so right now it is very going over to it so you can just learn it and uh, while joining the data mites uh, after you know getting the classes i just learned uh, from different sources whatever i learned so in the youtube also i just preferred it and the blogs linkedin they has asked that questions and it was so i just took the reference from them also and uh, yeah and take it very seriously on the note because uh, while preparing you should uh, know what is what you what you are learning because sometimes uh, the interview asks you about the mathematics part why this algorithm why you why you are using it so i just went it and youtube also helped me some i two uh, youtube channel i have campus x if you learn it and the chris nayak also you can just go through it they are very good very nice great yeah so that's, that's the uh, something that would uh, help for sure i think uh, there's always that relatability right so we we are yeah in addition to what all the course material that you receive you you need to uh, hear from a few more people that's that's uh, nice to have that uh yeah your videos blogs everything great wonderful um great great speaking to you uh, shoham i think uh, it's uh, yeah, you know that that's always um a journey that people learn from and uh, yeah you know in, even in terms of uh, not only where you cracked it but uh, also what led to it right so uh, somewhere i think that was uh, great to hear about so uh, thank you thank you so much for joining us today and yeah, thank you uh, wish you all the very best thank you thank you